Hi, I'm Nelson Fisk with Janes, and we are here at uh, AUSA 2019 with FLIR Systems' David Ray. And uh, David's going to be kind enough to walk us through some of the new developments and programs with FLIR Systems. Thank you so much for taking the time. The Army's really pushing towards uh, six focus areas, uh, three of them which FLIR plays a, a unique role in. So when you think about soldier lethality, when you think about uh, next generation combat vehicle and future vertical lift, our unmanned business is really an integral part of its success. As we think about the programs uh, that our unmanned aerial systems uh, play in, really having that capability to communicate between manned assets and unmanned assets and being able to prosecute missions, not just explosive ordnance detection, but layered surveillance, layered targeting, targeting to include unmanned ground vehicles uh, as well as unmanned air vehicles are, are really a thing of the future and we're actually bringing that to the present. So I'm excited about, about what we're doing. We have a program called Man Transportable Robotic System, or MITRS, where we're extending the capability of what we're doing today in the unmanned ground space to do uh, explosive ordnance detection. But we're actually taking our SUG-V, our small unmanned ground vehicle, and it's integrated with a combat vehicle for the U.S. Army, and it's doing layered uh, surveillance, something that unmanned ground vehicles haven't done in the past. So we're taking capability today and really ex extending its mission uh, for our customers in the future. That coupled with the work that we're doing with our Black Hornet, as well as our uh, R80D Sky Raider, our new UAS uh, that we have from our acquisition of Arion, is really uh, driving analytics and, and artificial intelligence to what it means to really build missions in a UAS environment. Uh, building unmanned air and unmanned ground assets, teaming with the Army's vision is really what's going to drive us in the future, and it's exactly what we're focused on today moving forward. That's beautiful. And, in, and a lot of what you're doing now is obviously in response to what the U.S. soldier is demanding on the battlefield in the near future. Absolutely. Um, the decision loop uh, is getting faster and faster. And so we have to empower the soldier at the very edge of the battlefield. And so the things that we're doing around leveraging our unmanned assets, uh, moving forward in what we're doing around AI and analytics is really about tightening that decision loop, lowering the, the cognitive workload of the operator so they're not thinking about what they're seeing. We're just helping them inform them of the decisions they have to make. And so the faster we can do that, the better it is for our soldiers in the field. That's beautiful. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate it. Right. Thank you, folks.